Carl, this season has been a season like no other for so many reasons, but it also represents your first full season as a Southampton player. Tell me how it's been for you personally. It's been great. I came here because, you know, I really enjoyed it on loan. I thought I had, I had a good loan spell and, you know, I felt like I've been, been able to carry that into this season. So, so far for me, it's it. it's been really good, yeah. And as a team, have you sort of felt that positivity? I know there's been sort of certain ups and downs this season, highs and lows, but generally speaking as a team, have you felt like you guys have had a positive season collectively as a group? Yeah, definitely, you know, no no season is just, you know, smooth and plain sailing, you know, there's always going to be ups and downs. So, you know, we, we enjoy the ups, uh, not so much the downs, but, you know, you learn from them and you are... Uh, you know, you, you use them to improve. So overall, I, I think so far, we think it's been a good season. And, you know, we want to just, with these last last nine games, finish really strong. Well, as you mentioned, plenty of positives and ups. You certainly definitely have made an impression among the fan base this season. Do you feel completely settled here now? Yeah, to be honest, I, I felt I felt settled uh, last season, even when I was on loan. Uh, I like to think I have made a, a bit of an impression on the fan base, which is always nice. But yeah, there, there's still more to come from from myself and, you know, the whole team. I feel like every time we catch you on camera, whether we're down at training or, you know, pre-game, you've always got a smile on your face. Is it fair to say you're sort of really enjoying being part of this team in this club? Yeah, of course. You know, first and foremost, I, I enjoy just playing football anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to be here and, and really enjoying it. Uh, and definitely lots of positive sentiment around your performances this season. Do you feel that sort of love from the fans still, despite them actually not being able to be there on a match day? I try not to read social media too much. So, yeah, it's quite hard to, to see everything. But, you know, if I post an in, uh, Instagram photo or put a tweet out, you know, I, I do I do see a lot of the nice messages and stuff. So, yeah, it, it is really nice. And, and you do you do feel the love even without them in, in the stadium, because, you know, they're getting behind us on the social media platforms. And how's that been for you, playing behind closed doors, you know, and in, in empty stadiums? How have you found that? I've, I've actually found it all right, to be honest. It wasn't that long ago I was playing under-18s and, and under-23s football, where there's, there's not a huge crowd. So, yeah, it, it hasn't really affected me much, to be honest. Uh, it's nice to hear, hear your fans singing and, and cheering you on and, and getting behind you, but... I'd say I'm comfortable either way. So, as we've spoken about, some ups, some downs this season, but a definite positive has been that cup run that we've been on. Have you enjoyed being a part of that journey? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially as a defender, I don't think we've conceded yet. So, yeah, I, I've enjoyed it. You know, it's it's special and, and hopefully we can win the semi-final and get ourselves to a final. And set the record straight for me. Are you claiming that goal against Arsenal as your own? Or... <laughs> No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the assist. <laughs> it's good for my numbers anyway. So we're all hoping that you're saving your debut goal for something special then. Could that be at Wembley maybe? Who knows? I'd love it to be uh, if, if it helps us get to a final. But um, yeah, as long as we win the game, I, I'm not too fussed. Talking of Wembley, it's obviously a shame that, you know, the fans can't accompany you to the FA Cup semi, but are you, are you looking forward to the occasion all the same? Yeah, definitely. You know, I haven't played in a in a semi-final uh, of a cup. So, yeah, it will be really, really exciting for me and exciting for all of the team. And, yeah, like, it's very exciting for the fans, you know. Like you said, it's an opportunity for us to make to make history. So, let's see what happens. Uh, you've obviously been involved in, you know, Champions League fixtures and, and things like that before and, and fairly big occasions. But fair to say that this is one of the bigger games of your career so far? Yeah, definitely. Uh, especially because, you know, I've probably got a really, really big you know, opportunity of actually playing and starting the game as opposed to before where, yeah, I was involved. But, you know, it's a lot different when you're on the on the pitch as opposed to being on the bench. And how do you prepare for those sort of bigger occasions? Presumably the the anticipation and the nerves are intensified a little bit. I think it depends on the player. For me, I just take it as, you know, any other game really, any other Premier League game, any other cup game, go with full focus and, you know, do everything we can to win. 
the club obviously lost out to Chelsea in, in their last FA Cup semi-final a few seasons back. So is there real determination in camp, you know, to go one step further this time around? Yeah, we haven't spoken about previous cup runs or anything, you know, where we're just focused on this current cup run. And of course, we want to we want to create history and we want to do something special for the club and for ourselves. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just go into the game with full focus and try and uh, rectify anything that we've we've done wrong this season or not done as well this season and, and try and make it all come together for this semi-final.